Hey guys, this is Kid Story View. We're going to be showing off this Bakugan Armored Alliance Battle Arena. It comes with an a exclusive right here, Hellcore Serpentees. Now, this is the second time we got this because the first time Hellcore Serpentees was a bit busted. It didn't close properly. Um, so, we were, so we returned it and got this one. So hopefully this one will be better, but looking at the package, um, here this show's about, I don't know why, see right here. So they have Cornelius, they have Dragonoid battling right here. It'd be pretty in interesting if I could actually be like, well, I predict that Dragonoid would win because he's 900 Bs, way more powerful than Nilius, so. If that was actually going on, that would be Dragon Eye movement. Um, other things, so this has an Arliss, um, Centipod, Normal Darkest Nilius, um, Aquos Enoch, Dragon Eye, Pegatrix, and Troxma Man. Uh, we have Sahir's stuff. Stuff. Um, it's not much else to the front than that. So it's, so it's like, ooh, things can come out. And, why is it look? Okay, so this dragonoid, it looks like when he says ball form, he's just like flying. Wait, so, oh, they try to make it look like he was on the ramp, so he's really not. But turning to the back, um, ignore this, that. We tried to get that off, but it didn't exactly work. Hellcore Serpent, he's beautiful dude. Um, shows a battle right to happen. This guy's just like. Okay. Um, what else does it say on the back? It talks about how there is this thing again that you'll see on this video. Um, and there's nothing. Else than that so is like comes with a character card, ability card, two cores, all that good stuff. So I think that's my personal opinion about this box. Now let's get into the box. Hey guys, we're back and now we're going to get into the box. Let's see if I can open this. Without really screwing this up. All the tapes are pre-cut, so this should open smoothly. Smoothly open. Mm. First off we have. Oh, oh my goodness. A lot of stuff. Woo! Plastic bit or cardboard bit. We don't need that. Um score. So how cool serpent keys in there now? How cool serpent keys in this box? Is it? Oh yeah, it's in this box. More plastic we don't need. Wow, I'm just gonna have to flush it over there. And that's done. Um, this, this, and all of this. Ooh, they gave us, gave us toilet paper. That's awesome. Uh, how cool shipping teas right there. Stuff. Stuff. Ramps. Dun, dun, ramps. More ramps. Put that on the toilet paper. Um, five things to open. I, I will tell you this before I um, do it. Do not try to take this all the way out because it's it's kind of hard to get back in. Yeah, but kind of. Oh no. Ooh, I fixed it. That's awkward looking. Let's let's let's, let's get this a go. Oh, there we go. Um, we're gonna cut off for a minute while we um get the ramps and then and then off around the packaging and these things still look like 
hockey pucks, but other than that, I think we're going to get all this stuff out of here. Okay, I'm back with everything out of the um, packaging, so that's good. And um, it comes with instructions, but because I already had this once, I don't need them, so... Wow, that was, that was a really bad throw. So, okay, yeah, I'm just feeling now. Um, the way to build this is you, you basically start by taking these things. This is one of them. And having this piece of, like, that doesn't have all the um, bumpy ridges and stuff, the side that looks like this. This side will snap on to this. Oh, well, we'll snap at first, but like, I'll kind of just go in there. Kind of just. Um, then you do that with the other side too. That makes sense. Because we always do that with the other side. And then we take these pieces that don't accept. The thing doesn't really snap in. It kind of just like slides in like you hope for the best, but oh, that's pretty good. See, sometimes that would stick out. But now we're going to put this in. Uh, um, it's not, I don't think it's a rule you have to put the course in here. Like, I don't think you have to put the course like right here or something like you could probably put them like out there and stuff but um try and make sure the snaps on now to take these um i want to separate them so you take one from each side um there's like this little extra plastic piece right here like on the side that the other one doesn't have that one has kind of like a bump now you want to do is you kind of just take them and you have this thing right here, like, I have an idea, let me move this. What you want to do, this piece right here, this will just slide under this little ridge right here. So this thing right here will connect to this, so just pop it, kind of just pop it on fidget with it a bit won't get it perfect the first time that's pretty obvious i gotta say that's Completely clicked in, but I get it clicked in. Okay. Okay. Now, um, now we have to put this in here. Snap. 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 Oh, 
I think it's, oh, I completed it. All hail everyone, all hail me. I did it, did it, drop, yeah, good job. Wait, no, I didn't do it. I have to put these pieces on. Okay, um, hopefully we can do this. So you see these, these little, let me get them. See those little circle pieces? These will just snap in there. Let's do it on the other side now. This will just snap in there. That's probably why the instructions do, do better than me, but I still did good enough, so eat that instructions. Ah, it's working. It's working well. All pushed together. Now, it's time for the good juicy stuff. First, let's just take some box. Let's look at the box cores. So this one is um, Fusions get 500 right here. So if you're Fuse, you get 500. Just put that on there. Nifty, put that in the center. This one is plus 200 and a, your Fusion plus 202. So some people have been confused about this, but when it says like F gets something, that means it gets like, it would get 400, so just to clarify that, I believe that's how that works. And I, you would put this right here, and we have all these other Rocky cores that I have collected over the couple, the multiple months on Reliance and Geogon Rising has been out with these new cores. So we got that set up, and Let's look at the, um, the rule sheet for this that comes with it that for the toy battling game is completely different from the normal one. For example, let me, let me get one out of here just to show you how bigger, more complex that is. Let me find this. Do, 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 do. Okay, here's one. Oh. Oh, we forgot to put this back in with the other one we got, so. But, oh, let me find one. Ha, here's one. So, get this out of here. I oh, see. Um, let's open this up. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? This is what the normal one looks like. Probably a bit easier. Then there's not the greatest thing ever. It's just this. Two different things. Um, we did forget to put this in the other one, but that's in the trash already though. Um, the fold, we don't need to look at this though because Everyone wants you to know how to play the toy battle game. If you don't, look at the sheets you get when you ever get a new Pokemon. Also, the toy battling game is fun, but like, I kind of want to play the TCG. I haven't played it before with anyone because it's too confusing for my dad, but I oh, wonder that sounds pretty cool. Um, look at the cards here. We have this one that comes with, um, Dragonoid Infinity, Arliss Lasers, a darkest and Arla thing that gives you plus 200 plus two damage. Will also, um, I think Shadow Strike. So that's good. Now the Hellcore Serpentis card. Um, Hellcore and Serpentis, 400 B and four damage. Double um, normal shield, um, three to fuse. So when you fuse, it's 705. And here, Hellcore looks. Oh man, he looks beefy. He looks so beefy. But um, that's the cards. I think we're gonna get zoomed in here for some rolling actions. 
Okay, now we're going to be looking at some Halcor Sherpentis rolls and see how he pops open and probably will scare some people, but let's go. Um, I dropped him so he opened. Don't look. Okay, let's roll. One, two, three, back to our brawl. Oh, and he opened, but kind of face plant, so probably going to do that again. Let's put this down here. I gotta tell you though, he looks pretty fierce. There he goes. Halcor Serpentis. Um, that, that flipped out his feet, kinda, so. Yeah, that all flipped out. Um, you can see, has the Halcor legs um, and heads. That's the, kinda like the, but has, um, it has a Serpentis wings for for sample to do something quickly. I have this Arliss Core Serpentis. See, this is a fusion of Halcorn and Serpentis. So you see, I don't know if this is really like, it looks more like Serpentis tail a bit with that end thing. So that's him. Um, I really like how this thing, like, really has, like, some stiffness to it. Like, it's really, like, well built. Um, I close them in properly. Let's, let's fix that. Let's fix that. But, um, I, I like how the thing's really sturdy. It feels really good. Feels like I can actually, like, do some major, like, rolls with it, like, let's, let's try to do this. Well, that didn't exactly work. Work. And, like, don't roll it, like, too fast or else that'll happen. But, like, if you want to like, kind of do, like, a... Ooh, that would work. I think I'm going to try to get this once. Okay. Well, that's depressing. But, um... You can't really do... Like, I think with some other guys. Um, let's, let's see if we can do this clock. Yeah, so like other guys will stay in better to so like so you probably get that done. But one thing I want to tell you before you really poofy like like really like excited like oh I can only tricks now. One thing I want to tell you is I don't think ultras actually Ultras do you do pretty well, but like I I doubt like rolling in like this and like all the bumps went gonna work well. I mean like if you kinda like roll it at the when it might come up, come down. Unless you have like that is who's like Balcon who is basically round in his um ball mode and Dragonoid, who's round two. Most of the Geogon Ultras, um, Geogon Rising Ultras, are um, very well built. They don't have pieces sticking out, so that's very good. Um, let's just put these cores back. If there's anything that I would have an itch, issue with is I think it would be, I th I wish this piece got in a bit more and I would have idea of this red piece was like one core, it was like the length of a core under here. So like, instead of it being like, what you could do is, um, let me, let me fold up Falcon right here, let me fold them up. Instead of having to like have to leap up onto it, have it like lower, so like it'd be like the core would be like as tall as that thing is. So then like it'd basically be rolling on like a floor, of course, instead of having to like go up on top of it and do it. But that's all that I really change about the thing. And um, there's one other thing I'll show off. So, moving this right here, hopefully this is in the shot. 
Um, pulling this out right here. Yeah, you can do stuff with it. You can you can put Bakugan card in here. I actually have a test to do do what um do these like things like yeah they fit in there. They'll fit um and the after this these they're like Baki gear should fit in this. This jetpack that came with Patrick says a fan. Oh, this piece came out. It shouldn't do that, but it's fine. Um, but also, what you can do is you can put like things like character cards and that nifty stuff in on there. So you can put like character cards. You can put because get the new gate cards are normal size. Put those in there. Um, I have a four card deck, but I have to find that. But you can put that in there. Um, they also have something that's pretty cool. You can put Baku cores in here. So that's nice. Um, and I believe that's all for the gimmicks for this and stuff. Um, there's these. You can't watch it from there though because it just like be really awkward but I think that's all I'm gonna talk about with this for right now. So yeah. Hey guys, this is the end of the video, unfortunately, but I hope you had a fun time coming with me to watch and kinda of, sort of play with the new Bakugan Battle Arena. It came with this exclusive Hellcore Serpentis. This amazing looking box. Please like and subscribe to help us grow in popularity because our channel isn't that popular right now, but I think it will be. So that's it for today, guys. So bye.